ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to one of the Spellweaver videos. Boltor here, and today we're going to be doing some gameplay with the um, Order Nature Soldiers deck that I um, deck doctored earlier this week. Um, we're going to be playing my altered version, um, so um, I won't be doing anything with the original list. Um, I'll put a link to the deck doctor video in the description below, and. Today's going to be a relatively quick video, um, maybe like just one or two games, primarily because I got recording this later than I would have liked, but um, I, or I got recording this much later than I would have liked and I'm a little short on time, but while we wait for an opponent, um, a couple of announcements I wanted to make. Uh, the first announcement is that with the Spellweaver tournament coming to a close, um, the loser's bracket is in its final match and once we get a winner there he'll go on to face um Sinelian, who is the who's in t you know the last man standing in the winners bracket so to speak the undefe the only undefeated player still um so once we get once that tournament's done I'll be looking for um deck lists from anyone who is in the tournament win lose I don't care um some deck lists for me to spotlight some interesting decks you know what I mean we're looking at um I mean, we've got decks that are one-turn win, life gain decks. We've got some interesting aggro, aggro decks. They'd all be very interesting for me to um, spotlight on my channel. So I would be looking for anyone willing to toss me a deck list. I'm not going to say you should or you have to. Not that I can enforce that in any, in any way. But if you'd like for me to spotlight one of the um, one of the video or do a spotlight video for a deck that you have that you made for the tournament you played in the tournament, I'd greatly, or I'd love a chance to um, talk about the deck. Alright, so here's our first opponent, and it's a, it might be just a regular soldier deck. Um, this is a decent opener, especially given our opponent, so I'm actually going to keep this. Um, the deck does play um, the Spearman, but I'm perfectly fine not having a turn one play, have going Musketeer and then Elite Vanguard. Okay, so we're going to do that for order level and pass. Um, the other thing I wanted to announce is I talked to the devs and they gave me a handful of um, keys for um, the sp uh, for rewards. We're going to play the musketeer. <laughs> so under the guise that I hold some form of contest. Now, the contest I originally had in mind was like, um, funniest plays, most clever plays, kind of like the, anyone who's familiar with the Hearthstone, the Trolled End videos, you know, the top, um, those, um, the top, or the funny lucky plays kind of thing. I'd be interested in doing that, I really would. Um, now let me see here. I'm going to do this. The question is, do I play the Vanguard, or do I play the Cavalry Field Captain? Let's play the Cavalry Field Captain. Buff him. Kill his 1-1. One -one. Um, so, I'm not 100% sure what kind of contests I'm going to be holding. Um, by the way, guys, feel free to give me some ideas. I'm still in the planning stages of it. I'm not 100% sure how I would go about doing this tournament, or this, these contests but I plan on doing something special when my channel hits a hundred subscribers I'm at like 94 95 or something like that um, mid low to mid 90s I believe so if you guys are at all interested um, please let me know I'll be um, there's I think 7500 gold uh, beta uh, keys you know you put them in you get 7500 gold added to your account so by all means guys um, I'll be giving those away to winners of the co whatever contest I basically choose that I want to be, um, or whatever contest I choose, you know, to be involved in, so, or whatever contest I choose. <laughs> I can't words. Um, like I said, I'm not still not 100% sure as to what the format for the, um, for the tournament will be, or not tournament, the contest will be. Like, I don't know if it's going to be funniest plays, if it's going to be cleverest plays. I had an idea of, like, the most life gain in a single move sort of thing. Um, 
again, please comments below anything you guys can think of to um let's wipe his board here anything you guys can think of um in the comments below i'd love to hear what you guys have to think or have to say um maybe you guys can have thought of something that i absolutely could not think of which happens quite a lot <laughs> everyone who knows the whole why can't i attack thing knows that everyone else can think of stuff when i can't <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he's got Dominion. So we're gonna just go ahead and switch back, um, switch gears back into the the game here. So he's got Dominion, and he's got an Assassinate, which is good because that's an Assassinate. Well, he couldn't use the Assassinate on my Master Tactician anyway. But um, that's one Assassinate down. That's used on something that's a little not as um, vital as. Some of my other cards could be. So we're going to draw. We're going to get a Storm Fairy. You know what? I like the Storm Fairy. Let's just bounce this dude. Let's get a nice tempo play. Um, I'm going to try and save the Master Tactician for when I've got a bunch of guys on board that I can buff with it. But, I mean, if I have no other creatures to play, I'll play it. Um, but this is an interesting deck. It's funny how um, Order Nature um, Soldiers is going up against what's basically order dominion soldier when pretty much the base the most popular order or soldier deck is order um corruption so it's i just i just find it kind of interesting you know that um it's kind of different um variations of that deck going up against one another okay so i'm just going to attack with the storm fairy if he blocks one of those, cool. Um, I'm basically I'm basically not playing any. Although I should play the master tactician and really bait out his um, attack with the um, shadow step. I have the pacify to get rid of those guys, which is kind of why I'm baiting him into there. I don't care if he blocks there. Although, do I really? No, I need I need to save this for when it's vital to trade up or something. So I'm actually going to play the master tactician and have the two mana for the pacify and just kind of bait him into attacking the Master Tactician or the Elite Vanguard. And then I'm just going to home run bat the um, Assassin away. I mean, it's kind of risky because he could have some form of removal for the Master Tactician. But we'll, well, we'll see what happens. Um, right now I'm showing 7 damage, which is really strong right now. Um, this has been a bit of a battle of board presence, and in argu or arguably I should have been playing a bit more aggressively and not focused on clearing his board. Well, if that's all he has, then I'm perfectly happy. That's fine. I don't care about the um, uh, Steel Hole Spearman. There you go. Yep. See ya. <laughs> now I'm gonna attack here. Play the touch of light. Get the um. Get the buff. Ooh, this is just going to be evil. So we're going to attack out like this. Go here. Go here. He's at. He still has one mana. So, well, he could touch of light, but even if he does, then. <laughs> If he has the touch of light, then, you know, but boom, bang, swing. <laughs> and now look at this board. Look at what we've got. Ugh. Ugh. I love touch of light. It's a card that doesn't see enough play, but I think, um, I think Spellweaver with, um, later sets could get really into, um, combat manipulation, you know, with buff spells or debuff spells or cards like, um, ambushing strike and um, word of or touch of light stuff like that to where your opponent has to kind of ponder okay he's got this much mana open he's playing these aspects he could have this he could have this a bit more of like a poker sort of thing where you're where you can bluff your opponent into um, blocking where you don't want him to block or um, you know what I mean that'd be the kind of thing that I would really love to see in um, later sets well, that's annoying. Um, the deck doesn't play any artifact 
Wait, yes it does. It plays Venerated Unicorns. So that's what I gotta hope to top deck right here, is a Venerated Unicorn. That's a Spearman. Oh, another Spearman. Oh well. He can't block anyway, so we'll just swing in for three. That'll go down to a 2-2 on his turn because of the weakness counter. So what'll be really funny is he wants to attack with that. I'll just double block with my spear ho or my spearman, and since they get ranged while defending, they'll the two of them will actually kill him. I mean, he did it primarily just so that I'd have less damage on board, so I wouldn't um, kill him quickly. But at the moment, he's not really threatening me with anything. Although he's gonna put a buff counter on that. Okay. Or a might counter. Buff counter, might, might counter. Um, he's going to play a... Or he's going to summon out a militia. I'm perfectly fine sacrificing a 1-1 one, one to block and save the 3-3. Three, three. I'm perfectly fine with that sacrifice. What I really need are one of my venerated unicorns. Ooh, a tor or, or a tornado outbreak. That will work too. And an ambushing strike. Okay. Um, tornado out. Break that back to my hand. Replay him. Swing in four, six, seven, eight. That'll put him to three. Let's just stick with keeping his um, board clear. So swing in for four. Knock him to seven. All right. And now we are showing lethal on board. And we even have the ambush strike in hand. So guys, like I said, this is probably going to be the only game... Oh, well, there we go. Um, normally I play more games, but again, like I said, I got recording much later than I had anticipated. Um, you know, reality happens and whatnot. You kind of are forced into doing... You know, forced into altering your schedule as it is. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please th you know, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Um, this is probably going to be the format for Deck Doctor videos from now on. I do early in the week. So for my Tuesday upload, I'll do a Deck Doctor video um, saying this is the deck, this is how I think it should be altered and everything. And then I'll play, then follow following later that week on my Friday upload, I'll play games with that deck. Um, kind of like what I had originally started with when I first started the channel with um, deck discussion videos and then deck spotlights. I kind of got away from the deck discussion videos and kind of combined them at the end with um, deck um, kind of, uh, what was it, kind of combined them with deck uploads or deck spotlights. Um, but I think anytime I get sent deck doctor videos or a deck doctor requests, I will do deck doctor um, earlier in the week and then later in the week I will do um, actual gameplay with that deck. At the moment that's what I kind of got to do because I'm not super, I'm super busy otherwise and I'm not exactly able to just you know make a video every day like I want to. Um, but I still will be doing com commentary videos are nice and quick. I, commentary videos I can do, I can sit down do my commentary and just upload them. Um, so commentary videos I will upload as soon as I get videos to comment on you know what I mean and you know what now that I think about it I might actually do if you guys record a have a, like a funny match you want to record even if it's not part of a spell weed or tournament if you guys just have like a funny game that you want that you record um, and you send it to me I'll do commentary on it I don't I don't mind um, doing that for you guys if you guys want me to I'm certainly not going to um, say you guys should do that um, so for the t for the contests, um, I will post a video explaining the rules, um, how long the contest will be running, and exactly how you'd go about um, operating OBS or whatever that you want to do to upload and or to record videos and send me the videos. Um, the rules will be in the vid in a video, a separate video to explain what exa how exactly the contest will go once I figure out the rules and how I want it to run. Again, if you guys have any suggestions on how on what contests should be, how they should be run, everything, comments. Um, I think I'll do a um, forum post about it too, um, so you can check the forums too, and I'll put a link to the forums in the description below. So in this um, link in the description will be my Facebook, the Deck Doctor video, and the forums. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, 
May the cards rise to meet you and bring good RNG to your enemies, enemies, 